Devri Hayamim Rishon, 1 Chronicles 19. Now it came to pass after this that Nechash, the king of the children of Ammon, died, and his son reigned in his stead. And David said, I will show kindness unto Hanun, the son of Nechash, because his father showed kindness to me. And David sent messengers to comfort him concerning his father. So the servants of David came into the land of the children of Ammon to Hanun to comfort him. But the princes of the children of Ammon said to Hanun, Do you think that David honors at your father, that he has sent comforters unto you? Are not his servants come unto you for to search, and to overthrow, and to spy out the land? Wherefore Hanun took at David's servants, and shaved them, and cut off at their garments in the midst, hard by their buttocks, and sent them away. Then there went certain, and told David how the men were served, and he sent to meet them, for the men were greatly ashamed. And the king said, Tarry at Yericho until your beards be grown, and then return. And when the children of Ammon saw that they had made themselves odious to David, Hanun and the children of Ammon sent a thousand talents of silver to hire them chariots and horsemen out of Aram Nahraim and out of Aram Ma'aka and out of Sova. So they hired thirty and two thousand chariots and at the king of Ma'aka and at his people who came and pitched before May Diva. And the children of Ammon gathered themselves together from their cities and came to battle. And when David heard of it, he sent at Yoav and at all the host of the mighty men. And the children of Ammon came out and put the battle in array before the gate of the city. And the kings that were come were by themselves in the field. Now when Yoav saw that the battle was set against him before and behind, he chose out of all the choice of Yashadael and put them in array against the Aramim. And at the rest of the people he delivered unto the hand of Avishai, his brother. And they set themselves in array against the children of Ammon. And he said, if the Aramim be too strong for me, then you shall help me. But if the children of Ammon be too strong for you, then I will help you. Be of good courage, and let us behave ourselves valiantly for our people, and for the cities of our Elohim. And let Yahweh do that which is good in his sight. So Yoav and the people that were with him drew nigh before the Aramim unto the battle, and they fled before him. And when the children of Ammon saw that the Aramim were fled, they likewise fled before Avishai, his brother, and entered into the city. Then Yoav came to Yerushalayim. And when the Aramim saw that they were put to the worse before Yashadael, they sent messengers and drew forth at the Aramim that were beyond the river. And Shofach, the captain of the host of Hadar Ezer, went before them. And it was told David, and he gathered at all Yashar'el, and passed over the Yardan, and came upon them, and set the battle in array against them. So when David had put the battle in array against the Aramim, they fought with him, but the Aramim fled before Yashadael, and David slew of the Aramim seven thousand men which fought in chariots, and forty thousand footmen, and killed at Shofach, the captain of the host. And when the servants of Hadar Ezer saw that they were put to the worse before Yashadael, 
they made peace with David and became his servants. Neither would the Aramim help eth the children of Ammon anymore.